Yo, what's up everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It is time for our next EV break. 2018 Bowman Hobby 4 box break number 32. Let's do what we do. All right. So I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes just opening packs. So if you got to make yourself some coffee or whatever, now's the time to do so. By the time that pot is done brewing, I'll probably still be opening packs. What time is it? 12.46. 12.46. Somebody remember that for me. I'm going to try to concentrate and just straight up open packs. wonder how long that will take me. Tomas, how's the crib looking, bro? So much for concentrating on opening packs, but I, I gotta get some kind of combo going here. My man Richard keeping track for me. My uh, my favorite house husband right there. Yo, does your wife have a sister? If so. Is she down for the brown swirl? Let me know, dog. I'll treat her nice. I'll treat her real nice. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a great dude. I am what they say, uh, what do they call it? A catch? You know, student loans and all that debt aside, I'm a catch. <laughs> if she did, I would hook you up, my man. My boy out there living the dream. And what is it in Lancaster County? Is that, did I did I say that correctly? The house husbands of Lancaster County. That would be yo. I would def. That would. I would definitely watch that show. Hey, listen. You get. You get that family discount, Richard. You know what I'm saying? The real house husbands of Lancaster County.
Bloop. So what did you do on the weekend? Well, considering I only have one day off, which was yesterday, Tomas. Yeah, saw Deadpool, uh, which was not bad, not a bad movie. And then from there, uh, went to Flanagan's with her, had some drinks, has you know, had some grub. Went home, uh, medicated myself a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, played some video games. Fell asleep playing video games. And then I just really went to sleep. <laughs> then and I woke up. I woke up in the morning. I woke up like around nine in the morning, and I was like, "Oh damn, this is not good," because I forgot. You know, usually Mondays is you know, or anyway, this week I should be off Monday. Uh, but I remembered I had to cover for Jason. So I had to remedicate myself so I could go to sleep for a few hours so, so that I wouldn't be, you know, all, all messed up in the game. But here I am. Uh, how'd it go? I mean, it was it was cool. It was it was nice. I'll say that much. We had a good time. But we'll see. I'm just, I'm really just taking it slow, Tomas. I'm not. Trying to be like, oh, please be my girlfriend. Please, I need somebody. Oh, my God, I'm so lonely. Nah, I just really don't. Just don't care about that right now. Oh, she's she's definitely playing her cards right. And I am, too. Because, yo, check it out while I'm opening these packs. So, so we're, we're at Flanagan's, right? And we had, like, we weren't at a booth. But we, you know, we had two seats across from each other. And there are tables on the on the sides, and uh, the table that we had, it was on my right side. Was like this really small table, and here come these these dudes trying to sit there. So the waitress is like moving stuff around on our table, trying to like accommodate them. So then I start moving things too, trying to like help her out. And I went to go move the move a menu, and the menu knocked down my water and spilled my water, and it, you know, the entire table got wet, and all the water came on my side. So my like all my bro, my pants and my shirt were like soaking wet, and in my mind, I was, I was furious because one, it was low key my fault, but two, I really thought it was their fault because if those dudes never came. You know, I still would have had that table. Which, you know, we had like, we had food on that table and a bunch of other stuff. Because the tables were real small. So anyway, so I knocked the drink. And like, I look up to look at her face and her reaction. And she's looking at me for my reaction. And I was just cool as the other side of the pillow. You know, the, the waitress starts freaking out. She's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was like, nah, it's cool, it's alright, don't worry about it. So... That was super embarrassing, but I thought I handled it pretty well. She gave, yeah, she she gave me like she, she yeah she definitely stared me down to see how I was gonna react, and then I I didn't say anything after the fact, and she's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine. It's just some water, you know, just just got my pants a little wet." And then she makes a dirty joke or something, and I'm like, "Yeah." But I was really ups I was like, bro, I was I was hot because I was so embarrassed. I was hella embarrassed. <laughs> but she was like, "You handled it really well." Oh my god, I thought you were gonna freak out. If that was me, I would have freaked out. Blah 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 blah. But after that, the date was over. I walked her to her car. We made out. And then we go our separate ways. And then like minutes later, I get a text back. And she's like, now my pants are wet. And I was like, oh, okay. Time to go home. <laughs> nah, she, bro, I'm telling you. She she was like, yo, you were cool as hell. You know, if that, you know, she was telling me like about her ex or blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, you know, that happened before with my ex. And he blew up on the waitress, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, it wasn't even the waitress' fault. So I was telling her, I was like, yeah, you know, same here. Like, that, it wasn't her fault, so why would I get upset? 
If anything, I started laughing because only stupid shit like that happens to me. So I just started laughing. Apparently, she's like, really likes me or something. I don't know. Yeah, Tomas, it's definitely not going to go that <laughs> that far. But who knows? We'll see. I'm just, I'm, like I said, I'm not, I have no expectations. I'm not trying to do anything. Like, whatever happens, I'm going with the flow, baby. Going with the flow. I'm really more so concerned with this right here, man. I got to get this shit popping, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I need I need to have people watching me constantly, all day. I need to have a minimum of 50 viewers every day. Like as soon as I go live, boom, 20, 30 people in the room waiting for me. So right now, that's what I'm concerned. You know, I could I could care less about girls, like whatever. That that's not a problem for me. I know I know it sounds like I'm cocky or something, but like I really don't have. A hard time meeting girls and chatting them up and then etc etc but this this is my number one concern right now uh, so what happens when you got to choose the bartender or, or your dude bartender all day I'm sorry I am so sorry she's a wonderful girl and all but the bartender is the love of my life Yeah, hell yeah, Tomas. Dude, once we get to like, once we get to like a thousand, uh, subs like followers on our Facebook group, I'll probably do like a thousand dollar break credit giveaway or something, like, something, some, like cool shit. Uh, yeah, Edgar, I did, and, uh, she actually watches me from time to time, and she'll text me, and she'll be like, ooh, you look good today, blah, 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 or, you know what I'm saying, just like stupid things. Well, Tomas, I'm going to be honest, man. I want I want 100 people watching just period. Not because I'm giving away break credit. No, I want people watching just because just because they like your boy. Uh, you guys ever do a pick a pack type of thing? Mm, kind of, sort of, but not really. I mean, we do pack wars. We do random packs. We do things like that. Okay, so what? It took me, what, 12 minutes to open up all these packs? 12.46, 12.58? Took me about 12 minutes to open the packs. Anyway, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. But yeah, Tomas, how about you, man? How was your Sunday? Is the car? I think you told me the car is good now. How's the crib coming along? I need that. I need pictures of the Grand Tour, dog. An Otani paper for the Angels. Crib is pretty much set. Got some details and a. Eric Lauer to one twenty five Padres. So Tomas, when's the house? What's the housewarming party, dog? Richard, watch another break on YouTube and do they do a pack and sell packs for a good so Huh? Oh, so they sell like individual packs. Huh. Curious. Curious, curious. 
I don't know. I, I would have to see what they do, and then see if I could spin it and do it our way, like my way or whatever. Interesting. Uh, Corbin Burns, Atomic for the Brewers. The whole house is a man cave. I was talking about this earlier. Like, come on, y'all. Like, the man cave is cool and all. But let's bring back the study. Bring back the study. You know, with a fireplace in it and all. With a library full of books you ain't never read. But just to look all kinds of smart. Blake Rutherford to 499 White Sox. You know what I want? Like, if I ever get, like, a crib... I would like to uh, have like a secret house, like a secret room, you know, like I'm in my study and I pull, I pull a certain book down and it opens up this secret door to where my man cave is. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'm going to have to remember that, Richard. I don't think that I am given the fact that my memory is crap, but I will look into it. Well, I'm off Wednesday. Jason's going to be streaming on Wednesday. So, I will find the time to to do a little research. Nice one for the Reds. Shed Long. With the autograph for the Reds. Base auto right there. That's a nice card. Not really a panic room. But like a secret, a secret room. You know, if I do, if I do decide to, to get married or whatever and she starts nagging me about why I haven't taken the trash out or cleaned out the gutters, I'm just going to pull that one book, go to my secret room and just hide out for hours. True, Richard, true, true. That's another thing I need to figure out. Just figure out a way to get more people to watch me. Need more, need more fans. Definitely need more fans. I have this idea in my head, but I'm not going to say it because once I say it, somebody's going to hear it and then try to apply it for themselves. But I think it's a pretty cool idea. So you know, another way for us to generate some content on our on our YouTube channel. Miguel Angel Sierra to two fifty Astros. The housewarming maybe after the Nationals before the major holidays. Word. Adrian Morejon to one fifty Padres. Well, Edgar, I can't do that. I'll get banned for sure. For sure. I appreciate that, Richard. I appreciate that. But yeah, I need to figure out a way to get a thousand more of you, Richard. Otani Angels paper. Like, Facebook has been a god... I mean, so not, well, Facebook has been a godsend. So has eBay. But like, man, I can't, I can't tell you. I spend most of my days just racking my brain trying to figure out how I could get more people to watch uh, number 27 out of 50 Cody Bellinger Dodgers I, I come up I came up with a kind of a cool idea last night I wanna I want to present it to Jason and see what he thinks and then execute for the Reds number 21 out of 25 orange talent pipeline Taylor Trammell Nixon Zell Alex Blandino. That's pretty nice. Well, Aussie Jim, I don't really know about that nut out part there because that sounds a little bit uh, weird. Uh, but yeah, you got my, you got, you, you got my, you got my info. Hit me up, doll. Matt Hall for the Tigers, a printing plate. That is a uno de uno, a Juan de Juan. Magenta plate. Right, Tomas? You feel me? 
like, I don't know how y'all get down in, in Australia, mate. But we don't do that here down under. That's a terrible... That's that's a terrible uh, Aussie accent. Sorry. All right. Still need another auto here in this uh, second box I'm going through. An atomic for the Cardinals, Junior Fernandez. I know I figured it was an Aussie expression, but uh, it takes a whole another meaning over here in the states. What else we got? Alright, if I'm not mistaken, I've only hit one auto. Oh, dang, don't tell me that printing plate is going to take the place of the auto. Because that would suck. There it is. For the Padres, Logan Allen, Refractor Autograph. That is numbered to, to $4.99. Boom. All right, halfway through this. This is box three. What do we got? What do we got? We got Willie Calhoun to four ninety nine Rangers. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to 150 Blue Jays. Jojo Romero to four ninety nine Phillies. The plate was Matt Hall. Yeah, Matt Hall of the Tigers. Deadpool two was pretty funny. I I, I would suggest anybody watch it. Shohei Otani Angels. Well, Aussie, I mean, we'll go as far back as we need to, but it really boils down to uh, the money. It boils down to the money. If we can get it for a good price, and if we could flip it and make some money. You know what I'm saying? There was no character named The Plate in Deadpool 2. Miguel Angel Sierra to 250 Astros. We got Tuki Toussaint. Are the Braves atomic right there? Another plate. 
Well, probably there goes the suspense for that. But there is another plate right there staring at me in the face. I'll get two here in a second. The 101 plate is autographed on plate auto for Luis Escobar of the Pirates. It's a black printing plate 101. There you go. Nice hit for the Pirates. Do structure decks. Huh? Structure decks. No, I mean, like, that would be kind of cool. No, because you know it. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, let's see what we got here. Last box mojo to 125 DJ Peters Dodgers. About to say another plate. See what I have here. There's a paper Otani Angels. Still need one more auto. Who's it gonna be? Another atomic for the Indians. Yu Chang Chang. The atomic. <laughs> right, notorious. <laughs> I was thinking about that this time. I was thinking about. It. I was like, man, by the time I finish these eBay breaks, it'll probably be, be, it'll probably be like three, four in the morning. I know ain't nobody gonna try to watch a break at that time. That's why I did the filler at least. Uh, that way, people know who got what. You know what I mean? Sam Hilliard of the Rockies autograph right here. Yeah, I think I'm. I think uh, I'm. Think I'm leaning towards doing that uh, hobby number one case tomorrow. So at least that way we have something to do as soon as I get in. You know, give you something to look forward to tomorrow. So brave words, uh, S. Harris. I uh, see you guys watching on Breakers. I don't know if you're into the Bowman hobby case we filled on our website earlier today. Um, but by that time, by the time I'm done with all the eBay action, it's gonna be pretty late. Probably be four o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So I think uh, I think it'll probably be a better idea to just rip that tomorrow at six o'clock Eastern time, six p.m. You know, while you're on your way home from work, in your commute, I could go ahead and you know rip a little case. It gives me something to look forward to. It gives y'all something to look forward to. Plus, I don't want you guys going to, you know, staying up hella late and going to going to work tomorrow all groggy. Boss man going to be like, why are you so groggy? Because I was watching Uncle Jesse last night. But, well, Uncle Jesse didn't start breaking until like 3, 4 in the morning. 
Oh, you were watching too? Yeah, but I'm the boss. At least that's how it goes down in my head. And that was the break. All right, so recap. We got a Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. Shed Long for the Reds. Logan Allen of the Padres. That's numbered to 499. And a black printing plate for the Pirates Lewis Escobar on plate auto. That's a one to one. There you go, Pirates. That's nice. We also hit another one to one. A magenta printing plate for Matt Hall of the Tigers, but it's not autographed. But still a one to one. And that was the break. 2018 Bowman Hobby number 32. eBay style. Thank you. We'll get that out to you.